don't mind. I pin me up. Pin him. If you can't beat him, just pin him. Then you don't have to worry about it. If you don't know what to do, just throw the guy on his back. If they don't come back, you oh yeah, pin the guy. Okay? Wrestling's an attitude. So now, when it comes to a stand-up, there is an art to standing up. But the only problem is, in the United States, here is the number one stand-up in America. Coaches, if I have it wrong, if you could please correct me, but this is what I see. The guy gets on top, in slow motion, this is what it looks like. Most guys go like this, right to here. All right, coaches, how many of you guys are pretty good at that? Raise your hand. All right, okay, we got a couple liars here. Um, all right, now, what we uh, wanna do, if you are good at stand-ups, that's great. What we want to do is we want to get to the position. If you have a tough time because guys are driving into you too much and you can't get there, I do something which I just call a knee slide right in here to help me get my hips underneath me. Now, my goal right here is to put him on his back. He's not thinking this. He's in the back of his mind, he's like, I don't want him to get away. And in the back of my mind, I'm saying, well, that's too bad, because I didn't want to get away either. What I want to do is I want to pop my hips. As I cut through, I'm going to pull the elbow and say, come here. <laughs> All right? So, what am I going to do? Once I go and get into the position, I don't care how you get there. If you go with stand-ups, great. If you're not going with stand-ups, knee slide, it, might, it should help you. And we do a little drill against the wall where I make my guys, I uh, blow the whistle, I'll be like, All right, and we do that a bunch of times, and then the key is to pop your hips and cut this elbow between you and the wall. Now, the key is his knees. He's going to determine how he is going to get put to his bed. So, I'm on the top. Where the bottom? I'm on the bottom. <laughs> okay, once I get to the position, I want to pop my hips now notice my hands over shoulders or hip over ankle. I am not leaning forward where he can scoop my ankle and I can't turn. I want to make sure that I'm, my, I'm under, my hips are over my ankle so I can pivot. If this knee is down, my peripheral vision is telling me, knee down. Now I want back down. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the elbow. As I pull the elbow, I'm going to plant all the weight on that knee, and he is going to get extended, go right to his back, and now I've got him. All right? Again, this is a position that you are going to end up in probably 95% of the time once you get to the position. Pop your hips and cut. Pop your hips and cut. Now, I can go like this and get one, which is stalling. should be a one-point stalling, which is the duck one you're being a wolf. Put the guy on his back. Your coaches want you to put him on his back. They might say, get away, that's because they're having brain farts, all right? That's not really what they mean. They want you to pin the guy. But trust me, they want you to pin the guy. They just had a brain fart and they forgot. So you can correct them, that's, that's fine. You can go in here, boom, put him on his back. You want me to pin him, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh I do it. said, get away. Wow. You know, because some coaches just think, they've been wrestling so long, they get things mixed up and shit. All right, so, we're in here. All right, when I get to the position, I want to keep my elbows in, I want to get hand control. As I pop right to here, and I turn, I see that knee down. Boom, I'm attacking this elbow and extending. I am not trying to lock and muscle him, because if I muscle him and he's stronger, he might win. We don't want to put that into the equation. He's going to be the skinniest, weakest guy in the world. He can be the strongest guy in the world. And if he wants to crush you and you just say, no, 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 come here. And they fall to their back, then it will come back to you. Oh, you're a guy. Now, when I get a guy chest to chest, how do you pin a guy like it is? Some people have a tough time. This guy could probably stay off his back. Here's what I do. I want his ear to his his ear to his shoulder. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take the top of his head and crimp it here. Now bridge. Go ahead, you can bridge. Try to bridge. Push, oh, no, again. Push off your feet, go ahead, bridge. All right, he can't bridge. And now right here, it looks like I'm not exerting myself. 
And remember, every girl in the stands are there for you. Every single one of them. All right? So when I walk in, I see all the girls in the stands. That's what I know. <laughs> right? And then when you pin them and it looks like you didn't exert any energy, they're like, oh my God, you're so strong. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So when we're in here and we go to pop our hips, when we pop and cut, extend him, I take the top of the head and I am turning the top of the head so he can't bridge. Then I can cross my hands like this. He can't go nowhere. Because he's like this. Any questions on how to stand? Pop those hips as you cut that elbow. If you can see that knee is now, tug. As you tug, you can thread this around the body and make it look like that you mushered them. But you can let everybody in the stands think that you muscled them and you were stronger. But bottom line is, you extended him and made him fall. Any questions on a five point stand up? Okay, when you stand up, this is the stand up. All right, I'm all to the point where I can't stand up without his help. He needs to push me to get up, or I need to use my hands because I'm old. All right? But I don't want to even do that. My job in the match, just to pin him. Any questions? Pin your partner, go. <laughs> 